Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time, and if he never retired, he could have won 8 straight championships and become the undisputed GOAT. In this video, I will be explaining why Michael Jordan and his legacy could have been even greater if he had never retired. This video is part 3 to my GOAT debate series on this channel. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Through the 1991 season through the 1993 season, Jordan and the Chicago Bulls three-peated winning three titles. However, after the 93 season, Michael Jordan announced his retirement from basketball. Jordan retired after his father was murdered at a rest area in North Carolina. He decided to play baseball for the Chicago White Sox minor league team called the Birmingham Barons. Because of this decision, Michael Jordan missed the entire 1993 and 1994 NBA seasons but came back to the NBA in the 1994-95 season with only 17 games left to play. The question I will be answering today is what if Michael Jordan never retired during those two seasons? Would the Chicago Bulls have won two extra titles? When Michael Jordan came back with the 17 games left to play, he was still a good player but not the same Jordan everyone knew. He was rusty and turned the ball over more and was making bad mistakes and it cost his team sometimes. Jordan was rusty coming back into the 95 season with only 17 games left because it isn't easy to retire from basketball, go play a completely different sport in baseball, to then decide to jump back into the NBA with just in time for the playoffs. So if that's your excuse against why Michael Jordan is not the GOAT, then come on. LeBron James could not have done that and came back and played at his high potential level after retiring from two years of basketball and then jumping back and playing in the NBA. Anyway, let's pretend in an alternate universe where Michael Jordan never retired and made it to the NBA Finals in 1994 and the 1995 season, the Chicago Bulls would have to face a new team that was led by Hakeem Olajuwon, the Houston Rockets. Hakeem is in most people's top 15 players of all time list. And the Bulls vs Rockets series would be entertaining but hard fought to win. If Jordan never retired through the 1994-95 seasons, could he have stopped the prime Hakeem Olajuwon? We will sadly never know for sure, but it is interesting to say the least. Let's say if Jordan and the Bulls were able to win those two championships against Hakeem Olajuwon and the Houston Rockets, then the Bulls probably would not have required a key player to their second three-peat, that player being Dennis Rodman. The reason for this is because the Bulls' third option, being Horace Grant, would never have left the Bulls to play with Shaq and the Orlando Magic. Rodman played a big role in the Bulls' last three championships, but it wouldn't surprise me if the big three of Jordan, Pippen, and Grant won eight straight. We will never know how all these scenarios will play out, all we can ask ourselves is what if. Many people don't realize, when having the debate about the greatest basketball player of all time, they don't take into considerability that Jordan retired in the middle of his prime, making him have less achievements than he could have gotten. If MJ never retired, he possibly could have added 8 championships, 8 finals MVPs, possibly more regular season MVPs in the 5 hit one and move up in every single category on the NBA list. However, this did not happen in real life and Jordan retired for baseball, then came back and won three more championships winning a combined six championships and everyone still is having the GOAT debate. This debate will continue to last forever and if you want a more elaborated take on this debate, then check out these two videos about the GOAT debate and make sure to leave a like and subscribe and as always, see you in the next video.